I'm just very disappointed because I really wanted my story to be heard, but the video that I just made, my story about being gaslighted, it doesn't have a sound. It doesn't make a sound. And I'm very disappointed because I really wanted to put that video out there. And um, I don't think I can make another video. Like, I had to prep myself just to make that video. And to have to do it again is almost like torture. But I'm going to try to do it again. Because I didn't want to do the video live to begin with. I wanted to, you know, upload the video. But the messages that I wanted you guys to see is on this phone that I'm using to record. But I do have another phone with those messages. So I'm going to get that phone. And I'm going to do my best to give y'all my story. Because for one, I'm tired of being silent. Um, and for two, I know I got to do it for the people. I, I can't be the only one in this world who's been gaslighted. So I have to do it for y'all too. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe and I know you guys been waiting for me to give y'all an introduction. I never gave you guys an introduction. But I know it's worth the wait. So, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay Kanora. And I'm going to be telling you guys my story about being gaslighted and then we're going to double back we're going to go back but we're going to go both we're going to go back but we're going to go forward and i'm going to make just an introduction video maybe that will be my next video so if you've been watching my videos you already subscribed to my channel i thank you but i got to do it right i want to do it right so i'm going to go back but forward and make my introduction video. So I don't want to say disregard all of those videos because those were great material videos to me. But you got I do, merch coming. I do, gonna come. I do want coming. to introduce myself to you guys. So it's gonna um, take a long time to the merch comes, guys. So get excited. <laughs> I need you to go in the room. Are you watching TV? You got your headphones in the TV? I don't hear the TV. Why? Because it's not up all the way. Okay, well, I need you to go back in the room and watch TV because the video that I just made that I told you it was grown folks' business, it did not have a sound. So I have to remake that video, okay? So I need you to go in the room and watch TV, and when I'm done, you can come back in here, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. And we can make another video for my animals. Okay, so I have the messages on my other phone. I'm gonna get that phone, and hopefully it pulls up the messages because I really need to get this out because I'm tired of being silent, and I want, to let you guys know who's ever 
been gaslighted that you're not alone and you're not crazy okay don't let nobody think you crazy okay so just one second Uh, excuse me, go do what I told you to do. The TV is not on. Well, I can't get up and help you. Is it on? Yes. Okay, how is it not working? It, it keeps having those... It keep going out? Yeah. Keep going black? No, it's not going black. It's just, it's just doing... It has a... You on YouTube? Get off of YouTube and get on TV. Y'all, he's aggravating me right now. <sighs> I'm calling people. <sighs> Why are you calling people? I don't want to talk to them people. And my phone just calling them people. People that I've wrote off. Like I wrote that person off. I don't want that person to think I'm calling them because I'm not. I had to turn it off and turn it back on. And this phone about to die, so let me put it on a charger. Hopefully this phone is not about to die because this will be nothing but the devil trying to prevent me from making this video. So what I'm looking, what I'm reading what I'm going to be reading these text messages from is my, um, make sure I know why it's still from my mouth. I'm going to be reading these text messages from my Wi-Fi phone number. So it may take some time. I have my Wi-Fi, um, app downloaded on this phone that I'm using, I'm recording with, and then this phone as well. But the messages that I'm looking for, I, uh, they're on this phone, but since it's the same app, same number, it should be able to pull up on this phone. Hopefully, it can pull up on this phone. But if not, we're just going to just go ahead and just get this out my system because I'm sick of holding it in. I'm at my breaking point, and yeah. So, it's not pulling up. It's not pulling up. Oh, my back hurt. And I just want to get right down to the nitty gritty. I don't want to veer off track. I don't want to give nothing more or nothing less. So that's why I really need these text messages because it kind of like put me on the path where I want to be and this is not working I can't believe that the video I sat there and recorded that video live and it doesn't have no sound like who does that? Who don't have sound? And why is this phone not allowing me to pull up the messages? It normally allows me to pull up whatever I do on this phone with that, with my um, Wi-Fi app. 
it pulls up on this phone whether I've used it or not. But let me get off of this computer right here. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. But basically, anyways, um, I messaged, I had a conversation with my uncle this morning. And I asked my uncle why, um, I asked my uncle what have I done to him and the rest of my family for them to mistreat me, basically. Um... And he was like, girl, what is you talking about like that? And I was like, I'm talking about y'all gaslighting me like that. And he was like, um, I forgot what exactly what he said, but he was like trying to. make like what I see is happening wasn't happening okay that's one way people gaslight you another way people gaslight you is to try to make you feel like no I just said that yeah he was well that's why I need the text messages because I know what I want to say with the text messages, but he was trying to make me feel like that what is happening, what I feel is happening is not true. So why, while he was um, messaging me, I was already writing my message because I knew, it's like I knew what he was going to say um, next, because I've been dealing with this gaslighting thing for over 10 years. So it's almost like I know when I'm being gaslighted because I've been dealing with it for so long. So before he can even send me back a message after I said, y'all gaslighting me is what I'm talking about. Before he can even send me back a message, I was already writing my message, letting him know, like, I'm not crazy. Do you, do you think I'm crazy? I'm not crazy. You see what I'm saying? I see. I knew what you wanted when you contacted me. When he contacted me, I already knew what it was about. I was just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I call myself stupid. I was like, I'm stupid me. Like, I got to stop giving people the benefit of the doubt. Even if they are family, I have to stop. You know, like, and I told him, I said, um, I said, like I said, not you, like you claimed. Because when he contacted me, he, he was talking about how my mother, my biological mother, treat me. And he said that he told my biological mother that I didn't do anything but be born. But no, I told my sister that those same exact words. And if you go back on my video, when I was sitting in the mall one day after I had to resign from my job and I was crying and I was telling y'all how my sister made it like me losing my job was no big deal. Like she didn't even care. Me and her stopped talking. I haven't talked to her. I haven't spoke to her since then. So what she did, she took everything that we had talked about, including about my biological mother, when I said all I did was be born. I didn't do, I'm going to stop blaming myself for the way that my biological mother treat me because all I did was be born. I didn't do anything. She went and told my uncle. So when my uncle contacted me, he made it seem like he told Elna, my biological mom, like, you always mistreating Nikki. All she did was be born like that. He made those his words. So I flipped it around the right way today. And I said, like, I said, 
All I did was be born. Not you. Those are not your words. Those are my words. Because with the gaslighting thing, they try to make you doubt your reality in your memory like you don't remember. I remember everything. I know what I said. And if I said it one time, I can say it again. I have no problem with speaking and, and saying what I feel needs to be said when it needs to be said. And I told him, I told him, ever since I was a little girl, you guys have abused me emotionally, mentally, and psychologically, making me feel like I'm crazy and making me feel like that I'm the problem. But just like I told him today, I'm, excuse me, I'm not the problem. And I'm going to stop telling myself that I'm the problem because I'm not the problem. I'm going to stop telling myself that I'm crazy because I'm not crazy. I know what I said. And if I said it one time before, I can say it again. You're not going to manipulate my reality and make it seem like that I don't, that what I say, that what's happening is not something that I said, but something you came up with. That's not true. That's a lie. So I told him, I was like, so, um, I told him, I don't hate anybody in my family. I don't have a problem with anybody in my family. I pray for my family every day. But when I isolate myself from my family, no, it's not because I hate you. It's because I love me. I'm going to put myself first. And that's what I told him today. And he yet and still made it seem like that he didn't know what I was talking about. He made it seem like that I'm just delusional and crazy. I wake up in my right mind every day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I wake up in my right mind every day. I know what's going on. I see what's going on. And I'm not only being gaslighted by my family members. When I was in Alabama, I left Alabama and moved to Florida just to get away from my neighbors because they were taking my words and they were acting it out, making it seem like it was their words. Like, say like if I say, oh, I love big cats. I can walk outside my door and it could be someone talking to someone else and say, girl, I don't like big cats, but she's talking to me. She's playing like she's talking to somebody else, but she's really talking to me. Like, I don't know that you're talking to me. You see what I'm saying? They using me against me to make me feel like I'm crazy. I'm delusional. I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not delusional. I know what is and I know what ain't is. I know what's going on. And they're not going to make me feel like that I'm losing my mind. So I moved away from my neighbors because my neighbors used to do the same thing. The people at the Section 8 office, they used to do the same thing. The people at the Section 8 office in Alabama caught the people at the Section 8 office in Naples, Florida. And now they're doing the same thing. My neighbors here in Naples, Florida, I, I haven't even been here a month. And they already gaslighting me. I went to my son's school. They're gaslighting me. At the health department, they're gaslighting me. It's like everybody around, around me is gaslighting me. And I'm not crazy. I know what's going on because I know I just said that. Like one time, my son asked me, and we were, we were all the way in Alabama when me and my son had this conversation. My son asked me, he was like, Mama, do snakes have eyelids? I told my son, I said, no, snakes don't have eyelids because snakes don't have opinions. And I was just joking when I said it. Tell me why Friday, Thursday or Friday last week, my son's teacher had him write out a little paper and say, snakes don't have eyelids because snakes don't have opinions. I know I ain't damn crazy. Excuse my language because I'm trying to, I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be relaxed about the situation. But this situation makes me so angry. You understand? Because I don't mess with nobody. I mind my business. That pays me. I'm always by myself. I'm always to myself. But you're not going to walk around here and make it seem like that what's going on ain't going on. I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm very intelligent. You're not going to do that. You're not going to blame me for what you did to me. You're not going to do that. And that goes for my family. That goes for my neighbors in Alabama. 
That goes for whoever. You're not going to blame me for what you did to me. And I'm not going to stay silent. I'm going to speak up because I know I'm not crazy. I see you. And just like I said, what you do to me has already been done to you. People play on my phone pretending like they don't know who I am. And I know they know who I am. You understand? I'm speaking out. I'm, I'm speaking out. I'm not being silent anymore. I'm going to speak out about what is happening to me. Like people are literally gaslighting me, trying to make me seem like I'm crazy. Now I can get crazy. I can get real crazy. And you don't want to see me get crazy. But I know damn well I'm not crazy. I know what's going on. God wake me up in my right mind every day. So don't make it seem like I'm crazy so you won't have to take accountability for how you treat me. You're wrong. And I'm going to tell you you're wrong to your face. But now it's on video. So you can't take my words. You can't misconstrue my words because I can go back and I can play this video. I can play it. I ain't do anything to nobody. Nobody. And I didn't ask you not to love me. Ever since I was born, you have been mistreating me and making me feel like I'm nobody. And I'm talking to you, my biological mother. You. After my mother died, you remember when my mother was at Glaze General Hospital on her deathbed. I don't know how many days. Matter of fact, my mama died the next day. We went to see her on the 12th or the 11th. And the 13th, my mother died. You remember? You remember we was getting out of grandma's car. It was me, you, and Uncle Billy. Uncle Billy said it was somebody else. I don't remember it being somebody else. It was me, you, and Uncle Billy. Because I remember y'all left me in the room with my mama and said y'all was going down there to the kitchen. But you grabbed a hold of me when we got out that car. And what did you tell me? My 11-year-old self, because I wasn't even 12 yet. My birthday, June 29th. My mother died June the 13th. Three weeks before my, two weeks before my birthday. What did you tell me? You sure did. You told me, B-I-T-C-H, you been not cry. That's what you told me. And you know you did. So you're not going to blame me and make me look like I'm crazy. I'm in my right mind. I remember every motherfucking thing y'all did to me. See, you got me cussing. I'm trying not to cuss. I remember everything you did and everything you said to me. And I'm not going to keep silent about it no more. Now, I tried to talk to you like a mother and daughter, but you never treated me like I was your daughter. So now the whole world going to know what Etna Jean is about. Okay? But what you going to stop doing, y'all, all y'all, you, Londa, Danny, Billy, Drico, AJ, them neighbors in Alabama, them people at my son's school, y'all going to stop treating me like I'm crazy. If I zap out on one of you, everything I do is going to be justified because you playing with my mind, you manipulating my emotions. And I have every right to defend myself. Do that sound like a crazy person? I think not. Not at all. Not at all. What else you said? When I came to you and told you I was going to graduate, what you said? That bitch ain't going to graduate. Then you say that. You said that. Everything I did, you always downplayed it. Everything I did. You never even told me you love me. I never heard you say... Nikki, I love you. Not one time in my life since I've been on this earth. And I'm 32. I'm a 32-year-old woman now. When I told, when I asked you, you've never met your grandson. What grandmother never met their grandson? When my son was in foster care, I called you. I told you to get my baby out of foster care. What did you do? You blocked my number. Every time I call you for help, what do you do? You blocked my number. <laughs> you think I'm going to keep silent about that? Hell to the hockey sticks. However, they said, I'm not. Because you're wrong. You, not me. I ain't tell you to do none of that stuff to me. 
All I tried to do was make you happy so you can love me. You made me a people pleaser. You did. I go to the doctor every day. When I wake up, I got to take medicine. Because if I don't, I'm depressed. If I don't, I'm bipolar. If I don't, I have anxiety because of you, not me. You're wrong, not me. It's not my fault at all. And if I had some pictures, I would put some pictures up so they can know that you guys are manipulating, gaslighting, narcissists, or whatever you want to call it. You wrong. You're not going to play my mind because I know I'm smart. I know what I said. And if I said it one time, I could say it again. I know. You're not going to confuse me. Not this time. I'm going to speak and I'm going to expose you. When people used to ask you if you was my mother, what did you tell them? No, I'm Nikki Auntie. That's what you would tell them. You know what my friends would tell me? You lying. You said that Drinker and Elton was your mama. They said they not your, your mama and your sister. That's what my friends told me. You always compared me to my friends. Why? Why did you do that? How come you couldn't love me? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm funny. I'm very talented. Even when I wanted to be a cheerleader. Don't you know I was fast? I outran everybody. Just like you. I wanted to be just like you. My mother. I always admired you. Because you just didn't need a man. I love that in you. You didn't need a man. I love that about you. And that's why I'm the woman I am today. I can do it. I can do without. Because of you. I look just like you. Just like you. I can't help because I was born. And when I said that all I did was be born, I told Londa that. And Uncle Billy, you made it like it was your words. And now you sitting up here acting like you don't know what's going on. You know what's going on. I ain't crazy. You know what's going on. And when I graduated from high school, what did you tell people, Etna? What did you say? That B-I-T-C-H ain't gonna graduate. I was always and still is your B-I-T-C-H. You can never say my name without putting that B-I-T-C-H in front of it. When I was in the hospital having my son and I didn't want to get cut, what did you say? Because Johnna Mae told me, tell that B-I-T-C-H to get cut. I'm always your B-I-T-C-H. And you won't walk around here and make it seem like I'm crazy for what you did. If I'm crazy, you made me crazy. If I'm crazy, my neighbors made me crazy. If I'm crazy, the schoolhouse made me crazy. You say I'm crazy? If I'm crazy, I'm not crazy. I'm just real. And I expose you guys. And you have to say that I'm crazy so that it won't interfere with the image you want the world to see. Do that sound like a crazy person? I'm very intelligent. You would know that if you spent time learning your daughter. You would know that. You don't know me. You've never known me. Never. You told me that. When we was going up there to see my mom a day before she died or two days before she died. You said, B-I-T-C-H, you better not cry. You better not cry. You told me that. And when we was in New York, after my mother was in the ground, what did you tell me? That's right. You told me that. You told me I was going to end up just like Katie. And Katie died of AIDS. And I was 12. I was 12. And then what did you tell me? When I would go outside and just play like a child, the child I was, I would come in the house, you would tell me what? You probably was out there hunching them little boys. I wasn't thinking about no boys at all. At all. Like you always put me down. You never believed in me. 
You always put other people before me. I never felt like you loved me. I know you don't love me. And after this video, oh, you're going to hate my guts. You probably already do. You always told me hate was a strong word. But how can you tell me hate is a strong word when you show hate towards your daughter? Make it make sense. And AJ, you molested me when I was 10 years old. You molested me. Now, if you want me to go into details to help refresh your memory, I can. I can do that. I can tell the way you used to make me get on all fours and you will pull out your penis and slide it between my thighs like you were hitting a grown woman from the back. You did that to me and you would come all over my legs. You know that mess with me right now today? Like my significant other, we have rules that we go by just to be intimate because that messed me up. Drika, you too. You used to make me lay on my stomach and hunch me. You know you did. That's why y'all not going to make me seem crazy just to cover up what you guys did to me. If I'm this way, it's because you made me this way. You had one job to do, Etna, and that's love me. I didn't ask for much. You already know what kind of child I was. I was just happy to be here. I was just happy to feel loved. That's all I wanted you to do was love me. That's it. That's all. But I'm sick of people trying to discredit me by saying I'm the problem. By saying I'm crazy or making me feel crazy. I'm not, fu I'm not crazy at all. And you're not going to make me feel crazy. You're not going to make me feel worthless anymore. I, I couldn't even look myself in the mirror once upon a time. Do you know how devastating that is? Because I have to live with me every day. And I couldn't even look at me in the mirror. So I wasn't brushing my teeth. I wasn't taking a shower. I wasn't fixing my hair. I wasn't changing my clothes. I was depressed. Because of the things that you guys did to me. Not even what I did. But I refuse to die without people knowing the truth. I don't care. I can die today as long as the world know my truth. This is my truth, not yours. And if you the villain and my story, it's because of what you did, not what I did. I have no reason to lie. You guys know me. I'm real. I can take accountability. If I messed up, I'm woman enough to say I messed up, but I'm not wrong. Londa, how could you say you're my sister when you know you've always been jealous of me? I remember one time I needed some contact solution. And you knew that contact solution would burn my eyeballs. And you convinced me that that was the contact solution to use. And you know what happened to me? You know what happened to me. Because you know what you did. You burnt my eyeballs. Thank God I can see. Thank God. Like I said, what you do to me has already been done to you. You know I told you what AJ did to me. I'm uncomfortable. You told me Quay was having sex. I don't want to hear about my nephew having sex. I told you that made me feel uncomfortable. Every time we got on the phone, what you talked about? That's right. Quay having sex. You don't care about my feelings. At all. So you don't have a right to say anything about me. If you don't know me and you don't care about me. I'm here today. Today is the day. I'm at my breaking point. I'm at my breaking point. And it ends today. It ends. Y'all not finna gas like me no more. Got me walking around here with my head down.
like I'm the problem. Apologizing for no reason. I'm not doing that this time. It's your turn to apologize to me. Because I, if don't nobody else in this world deserve an apology, Nikki do. K. Kenora does. That's my new name. That's going to be my stage name. K. Kenora. I do. I deserve an apology. Because I ain't do nothing wrong to y'all. Nothing. All my life, y'all have been treating me like a scapegoat. So y'all won't have to feel guilty about the way you mistreated me. When I called you Etna and I told you that I was pregnant, what did you tell me? Mm-hmm. You said, oh, I knew you was either calling me because you was pregnant or you had AIDS. <laughs> who does that how can you talk to your daughter that way your beautiful daughter your beautiful caring loving daughter how could you talk to me that way hmm I'm every spit of you everything I get from you honey you the bomb dot com baby girl you are the bomb but I can't make you know that and I'm tired of trying. I'm tired. I, I, can't, I can't worry about anybody else's problems but my own. Do you know how much work it took for me to pull myself up by my boot scraps? Because I was so insecure. So insecure. I let people say whatever they want to me. Don't defend myself because of what you did to me. And this been started. And Londa, you know, Danny was all I got. And you turned Danny on me. And Danny, I never thought in a million years that I would be without you. You was my dad. You was my best friend. You was my king. You was my mother husband. I can remember the bloody nose that I, I used to get when I was younger. You were there. I can remember snuggling up in between you and my mom. That was my life. Those are my memories. But now they just tarnished because I don't feel the same way about you no more. I had the most disgusting dream about you last night. I never thought I'd have that kind of dream. I was jacking your D-I-C-K in my dream last night. And I, in my dream, I was being gaslighted in my dream. And in my dream, the only way to stop me from being gaslighted was to jack your dick. I, that was my dream last night. It ends today. And I ain't trying to cry because <laughs> on that live video, I said I wasn't going to cry. Because y'all don't deserve no tears from me. Okay? You don't deserve my tears. Every time I fall down, who put me back together? I don't have a safe haven. When my son was in foster care, care I bust my behind by myself to get my son out of foster care. Not one of y'all helped me. Londa, you put your man before me, dog. And if you, that's my story. And if you can't handle that, then you need to go back and reevaluate yourself. You wouldn't even get 
my baby out of foster care because you said that Chris said Christopher Webb from Alabama said that if he get my baby out of foster care, he was going to keep my baby. You told me that. And it, I don't know whether it's true or not, but in my mind, if you allow a man to say something so vicious about your baby sister, you ain't nothing. You nothing to me. And I mean that. I don't hate you at all. I love you because my mama told me to love you. Katie told me to love you. And I'm going to always want the best for you and my nephews. But you're nothing to me. You don't even exist to me. I live so many days. It's so crazy because days go by faster when I'm not talking to you than when I am. Because I'm always waiting for the stuff to hit the fan. Always. And how you had the guts to say you, you croaked my teeth. You the reason I walk around with a croaked teeth. I never forget that day. When we had moved in New York and I got on, I tried to tell the lady at school that I get on this bus. And she was like, no, you get on this bus and you wanted to go to Eltner house. But by me getting on the wrong bus, mom made you come back home and you were mad. And you beat me with one of those little wire candle holders that mom used to have hanging up. And you croaked my teeth that day. I was bleeding from my mouth. So whatever I do. It's justified because I'm defending myself and I will defend my mind, my body, and my soul against you vicious manipulators that I have as family. You did that. And for you to bring that up on the telephone that day without apologizing, you won dirty MF. And I see why nobody like you. I remember Charles telling you that back then. But now I see. I was always the one to stand by you and take up for you. Me. When we was at Thomasina house that time. And Thomasina daughter was beating on the closet. You had done got in the closet. And they was doing you so wrong. I was out there standing up for you. Me. Little old Nikki, I was always there for you, but you was never there for me. And that's my story. And if you don't want to be the villain in my story, then you need to reevaluate yourself. Because I never did anything to you but loved you. Now, I see why I always had an attitude when it came down to you. I had to keep you in your place because you one dirty mother sucker. You dirty. Your heart is dirty. Your kids are going to be dirty. So check yourself. This gaslighting, it starts today. I mean, not start. It stops today. I'm not dealing with it anymore. Y'all, I don't want to mess my edges up. <laughs> Y'all see my edges, though. But anyways, it stops today. I'm not dealing with it no more. Ever. Because I don't deserve that. I don't, de especially from my family. Y'all supposed to love me. Y'all supposed to love me. But it seemed to me like y'all hate me. But I love y'all. I'm not mad at y'all. And just like I told Uncle Billy today in them text messages. When I distant myself. Just know it's not because I hate you. It's because I love me. I had to fight. <laughs> to get here. And I'm going to continue to fight. To stay here. So if I die today. I'm going to die it's okay if I die because I know that the world know my story. I'm not holding back. 
I'm not cutting my words off. I'm going to say exactly what it is because I know what it is and I know what it ain't. And I thank God that he wake me up every day in my right mind knowing what it is. I know. I see you. I see you. I know what I said and I can say it again. I know what I said. But all y'all going down. All y'all. Because you will reap what you sow. You will. But y'all going to stop making me look like I'm the bad person. Y'all going to stop doing that. Okay? I, it ain't my fault that AJ raped me. Then turned around and took me to Fort Myers and told the people who house we was at that I was his girlfriend instead of his fucking sister. And he raped me that night. Raped me. I was so disgusted. I ain't even want to bathe. I ain't want to do nothing. You nasty MF. I'm your sister, nigga. Your baby sister. Get it together. Because my mouth is open. And I ain't holding back no more. Y'all would have been better off just not gaslighting me. Because guess what? I never had the heart to even say any of those things. I was always hinting and beating around the bush when it came down to those things. But now, since y'all want to gaslight me to keep me quiet, I, don't even, I ain't even scared no more. I'm going to say it with my chest. I'm going to say it. So thank you for that. Thank you for making me stronger. Thank you for making me wiser. Thank you for making me more bolder and courageous. Thank you. You wrong. It ain't my I didn't ask you to do that to me. I ain't I ain't say come get this nookie like I do my significant other. He already know how I get down. Don't you? <laughs> I never told you that one day, one time. I never tell you, I never told you to touch me. Never. But you did it because you knew you can. And Elton, the way you treated me, you gave him permission to do that because he knew if I would have came to you and told you that, you wouldn't have said nothing. You wouldn't have did nothing. Come on now. You wouldn't have did nothing. You never loved me. Never. And I ain't do nothing to you. I'm tired of asking myself what I do. I ain't do nothing. But be born like I said. Me. I said that. I told under that. So don't try to turn it and make it like it's your words. Because I'm not stupid. I was just hoping somebody in my family. Somebody in my family. Would be on my side. But now I see. I ain't got nobody but myself. I ain't got nobody but myself. But when I cry, I pick myself back up. But you know what God did? He gave me a little boy. <laughs> he gave me a little boy. That when I fall, Guess who helped me up? My little boy. My son. And as for Barry, you included too, baby. You are not excluded. Because I just talked to you on the phone when you sent me them $300. And them same words you told me, I said those words. But you made it seem like it was your words. I ain't stupid. If you got something to say to me, say it to me. Why are you trying to confuse me and manipulate me? Am I speaking the truth about you? Because ain't nobody going to go through all that trouble if somebody is lying on them. If I'm lying on you, why are you going through so much trouble to make me look crazy? To make me doubt my reality? 
Why? I know. I know. But you got me pregnant to keep me down, to control me. That's why you got me pregnant. But guess what? It backfired, baby. It backfired. Because you don't own me at all. I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. And that is just Nikki. K. Kenora. I'm going to go add the at. Because it's my name, Ranika, spelled backwards. So I'm going to add K. Kenora. I'm going to go change. You don't own me, and you don't control me. Gas lighting is real. It made me doubt my whole reality. I literally had a, an identity crisis. I did not know who I was. I doubted myself. I've always been a confident woman. I've always did not give a care about other people. I said, no, not like that. I, I never gave a care about what other people think once I said how I feel. Once I said how I feel, I never let other people's opinions stop me from saying how I feel. I always said how I feel. I literally had an identity crisis at 25 because everything and everyone around me was manipulating me and using me. Everyone. And I can't really explain how I got back to where I'm at now? Oh, yes, I can. You know what I do? I stay away from people who make me feel like I'm the problem all the time. I told Danny this. Every time I'm away from my family, I do good. The moment I'm around my family, I do bad. My family, they know things. They know me. And they use those things about me. Like I'm outspoken. I'm just real. I'm just real. CP, remember you said you you said I was too real? Those are my words. I know I am. But I used it to build me up. Nikki too real. I am. So when you be in gaslighting, you take what you need and you leave what you don't. Anything negative, you don't take that. But if it's something positive, like when I was at my son's school, I told you it's at my son's school. A little Spanish girl, whatever she is, she was like, oh, he can't miss you when my friend was coming to pick me up. Oh, he can't miss you. I took that. I was like, you damn right, girl. Even though I knew she was gaslighting me. You see what I'm saying? Take what you need and leave what you don't. You're not crazy. You know you better than anybody. I don't care what people may think they know. They don't know you. Because at the end of the night, when I lay down in this bed and I close my eyes, I'm left with my thoughts. Me. I know my mind. Can't nobody tell me what I'm thinking in my mind. Can you see my thoughts? No. Can't nobody tell me what I think and what I feel. I'm going to tell you what I think and what I feel. And I think that you guys, my family, the schoolhouse, don't worry because I'm going to the Section 8 office and I'm going to the school board tomorrow when I come back from my doctor's appointment. And I'm going to let them know that the school is gaslighting me. The Section 8 office, oh yeah, we losing jobs today because it, it stops today. It stops today. Don't let nobody think you crazy. I wasn't intending for this video to be all this long. But guess what? It is what it is. And it's going to be what it's going to be. You feel me? But, um. Yeah. Gaslighting is real. Okay? Gaslighting. Gaslighting is when someone makes you question your reality. And when I say question your reality, it, it, it like 
the maintenance man. This is why I know I'm being gaslight. When I first moved into this apartment, I looked at the stove and the time was right. And I was excited. I'm like, okay, the time is right. Now I have the time on my stove. I've never had the time on my stove. Okay. This is the first time I've had the time on my stove. Okay. No, I'm lying. When I got that new stove in Johnson Homes, I had the time on my stove, but that was the only other time. This time I have the time on my stove. So when I first moved into this apartment, we only been here like a month. And don't worry, I'm going to give you guys a house tour, a fully furnished tour and all that. I don't have my furniture just yet because my dad stopped the lady who was filing my taxes from filing my taxes. I don't know what he said to this lady, but just like I said, that's another form of gaslighting. You feel me? So I was planning on buying my furniture with my taxes, but I don't have it. But it's okay because I, I just got a job and I'm going to work and I'm going to buy my furniture that way. But when I first moved into this apartment, I had the bed in the living room. So one day I'm sitting on the bed and I wanted to know the time. So I was just about to get up and I looked at the stove and I'm like, oh, the time on the stove. Good. And the way I had the bed, I can see from the bed into the kitchen and don't even have to get up. So I'm, I'm loving that. When the maintenance man came in, he pressed me. He messed with my clock on my micro on my stove. He he deleted the time. And I'm like, who deleted my time? Any other time I would have just blamed myself, like, girl, you just be doing, you know, no, not this time. That maintenance man came in my house and he changed my darn time. I know I ain't crazy because when I just looked at the time, it was working. It's been working since I've been here. Okay? But now all of a sudden, when this maintenance man come in my apartment, it's not on there. Okay? I'm not crazy. I know what's going on. And it's time to stop. If it doesn't stop, I'm going to keep exposing you guys. I'm going to get on this live. and, and I mean, not this live, but I'm going to get on my YouTube channel. And I'm just going to turn my YouTube channel into a gas lighting channel. Okay? This is what it's going to be. You understand? Even the people who commenting on my ringworm video and my neighbor's videos, that's gaslighting. Stop it. I know who you are. Get off my shit. You're not going to make me think I'm crazy. You're not going to make me doubt my reality because I know what's going on. I see you. And that's another thing, guys. When you're dealing with gaslighting, you really have to trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Okay? Gaslighters, they don't want you to trust yourself because they want to control you. They want you to be dependent on them. But I'm not. I don't need any of y'all. Elna, Drico, don't want Londa. At all. Y'all can have her. I don't care. Uncle Billy, none of y'all. And oh, and Uncle Billy, that dollar you sent me, stop gaslighting me. We are, I already talked about this. I know what I said. And like I said, I said again. Snapchat, I mean, not Snapchat, but uh, 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 cash apps is for people who like to trick or prostitute. I said it, and I said it again. And that was the reason you made it seem like you could not uh, send me some money to my card. And I ended up downloading Snapchat. So that dollar, I don't want your dollar. I don't trick. I don't prostitute. I don't do any of that. I'm your niece, okay? I want you to understand that. But like I said earlier in that message, when you want to have a real conversation, we can have a real conversation. But trying to make me look like the villain and you the victim, it's false. It's a lie. Okay? And I will not be lied on anymore. At all. Okay? I'm not crazy. 
I'm not losing my mind. This is my story, and I have every right to speak about my story, okay? That's why it's my story, okay? I may look like the villain in your story, and it's okay. But in my story, I am not the villain. I'm not even a victim. I'm a survivor because I survived all of you guys. I survived and I'm going to keep surviving. I'm going to be singing beside Beyonce at the Big Apple one day. Everybody's going to know my name. Everybody's going to know my story. And we're starting with this video. So to my supporters, the people who really support me, Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for accepting me for, for me and not trying to change me. Like that person going to try to tell me, ringworm, I said what I said. That's why I know you're a gaslighter. Get off it. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and join the family. Go subscribe if you have kids. Your kids uh, can can subscribe to my son's channel at Noe Bowie on YouTube. He has a channel. Don't worry. We're going to get some stuff on his channel. And we're going to give you guys some great content. But this is my story. This is my channel. And I can say whatever I want to say. You're not going to stop me. You're not going to control me. No more. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm too beautiful. I'm too caring. I'm too loving for you guys to be saying anything other than that. It's your fault. It's your own fault that you guys missed out on a wonderful individual. Because I'm the bomb.com. And I know that. I don't say, I don't think I'm better than nobody. I don't walk into the room trying to be better than nobody. But I do walk with my head a little higher than most because of the things that I had to overcome. Do that sound like a crazy person? <laughs> Idiot. But anyways, y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, um, if you are new, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you or you know someone who's been gaslighted, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have been through. We can swap stories. Um, yeah, we can just create our own little safe haven because I'm so sick and tired of good people running into bad people. Like, no. Good people need to be with good people. And the part that makes me really upset is because the police are killing good people. Now, if you go kill the thugs and the people who robbing people and, 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 and raping people and, and, and harming children and stuff like that, I will keep my mouth closed on police brutality. But you guys are going out killing people who have permission, the right to carry guns, who have gun licenses and stuff like that. People who are EMTs and stuff like that. That's the same thing gaslighters are doing. They are good, getting good people who care. I'm in this situation because I care. I cared about the wrong people. I tried to help the wrong people. But I'm also not a pushover. And I spoke up. And they knew that they could contr control me. Because, oh, she's going to speak up. That, that's what they were saying. Oh, she's she going to speak up for herself. So they had to find a way to control me. And they did it by gaslighting me. But I'm better now. You know, I, I still suffer from depression. I still get depressed from time to time. I have to go see my therapist to make sure my mind is right or whatever. Make sure, you know, everything is good. I still haven't found me a great therapist, but you know, it's in the making. You know, I I may suffer from depression, bipolar, and anxiety, but I ain't crazy, okay? I'm not delusional. I know what's going on, okay? So, 
I know y'all sick of me saying subscribe, but I'm trying to get my followers up. So subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. If you think that I'm brave, because I think I'm brave. So give me a thumbs up, y'all. And by the way, I've been dealing with this for since 2009. So 11 years. I'm still beautiful. I ain't on crack. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on drugs. I ain't on alcohol. I do have me a drink right here that I was sipping on last night. A little gin with some Red Bull. I may sip on it some more after this video. But, um... I do drink, you know, so um, I'm just thankful that I'm alive to tell my story because a lot of people aren't alive to tell their story. So um, thank you all for listening to me um, and any good comments that I receive for this video, if I receive any. I just want to thank you guys in advance, okay, because I have no support. It's just me and Noah, okay? I don't have a safe haven to catch me if I fall. I don't have that. Like that video I made two weeks ago when um, me and my son was doing the uh, beef, beef jerky challenge, I was homeless, waiting for this apartment to get ready because the people at the Section 8 office said that they couldn't push my paperwork until my lease was up at my old apartment, which I know was a lie. I was homeless. I don't have a safety net. Etna, that's my biological mom. She don't care. You already know. If she didn't get my baby out of foster care, what grandmother never met their grandson? She's never met Noah. And Noah is seven. She's never met Noah. So, you can kind of get an idea on my situation. So, I'm looking for all the support I can get. Support your girl. And I got you. You support me, I support you. You respect me, I respect you. And that's just the way it is. Peace.